Okay, last question. We've got an arithmetic progression and geometric progression. So it's worthwhile getting the formula from the formula sheet. I'll just paste them up here. Fourth term can be written as that. So fourth term arithmetic is like that. So fourth term is A, which is the first term, log to base 2 of 27, plus by 4, 4 minus 1, 3D, three, 3 times log 2X. And that is the fourth term. That equals, well, let's put the 3 bit goes up to there to start off with. So it's log of 27 plus log of x cubed. They're both log to the base 2. And I got a log plus a log is the same as the log of the product. So that's log 2 of 27x cubed. And that's the first part done. Second part, given the fourth term is 6, find the exact value of that. So that's now saying that the fourth term uh, is 6. We've got to find out what the to x is. So to do this I need to get rid of the word log, so I need to vaporize that, so I raise it to the power of 2, so to it. And that will vaporize that and just leave me with 27x cubed equals 2 to the power of 6, which is that's 64. So x cubed equals 64 over 27. So x equals cube root of that. Cube root of 64 is 4. Cube root of 27 is 3. So that's that part done finds uh, this geometric progression. So now we're looking at these formulas. And so the values for its geometric progression has a sum to infinity. Well, that's there. It has sum to infinity if r the modulus of r is less than one, which means that minus one is less than r, which is less than one. So r is common ratio. So if part b, the first part, uh, it says that common ratio log to base 2 of y has got to be less than 1 or minus 1 has got to be less than it. I don't want log to base 2 so I need to get rid of that so I'm going to do it and that will vaporize the log to base 2 and just leave it with me with y and so it will be 2 to the power of minus 1 or 2 to the power of 1 and so that is all. Oh, that is a half which is less than y which is less than 2. Don't forget that minus sign is just like being used up by the over. So that's that first bit. And now part two. So this is part B, part two. Find the exact value for y, which sum to infinity is three. So we've got a, so we've got a over one minus r has to equal three. It says that a is log two, log to the base two of 27 over one minus log base 2 y and we want to find out when does that equal 3 so times everything through by the bottom bit 3 lots of 1 minus log to base 2 y multiply that all out 3 log to base 2 y and I need to get this over to this side so log to base 2 and 27 plus 3 log to base 2 y equals 3. I've now got to get, I've got to get rid of the logs, but to do that I've just got to have it into one, one log rather than the individuals like this. So that 3 is going to come up to here, and then I'm going to log plus a log so I can put them together, exactly like in the first part. So that is the same as 27 y cubed, and that equals 3. I want to get rid of the log, uh, so I'm going to do it. So that's the inverse operation, and that'll leave me with 27y cubed equals 2 cubed, which equals 8. Take it up here. So that says that y cubed equals 8 over 27. And so y equals cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 27 is 3. Nice number, and uh, so it's likely to be right, and indeed it is. And that's question 9, and the whole paper done.